hello what's up extravagant people of the world um i'm back with another video so in this video i'm going to be taking my rusty crusty dusty disgusting wig and i'm gonna revamp it this is a synthetic wig and literally it was cute while it lasted but it literally lasted for maybe a week and if you're gonna have sex not that so this is a wig from the Janet collection. I think it's called Gabriella. I'm not really sure, but I'm gonna post a picture of where it looked cute. Actually, in my last video, it was already starting to look crusty. So can't even go off of that video. But I'll post a picture where it actually looked cute. Um, but I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take away the curls because look at how ratty, matty, catty, Kathy, you know? I don't want to cuss anymore on my YouTube channel because apparently if you do that, you can't get monetized. <laughs> but um, yeah, so we're going to get started with this. The first thing that I'm going to do, though, is comb it out. And I'm going to show you just a little bit only because. So to not make it frizz, I use. Well, I mean, I guess this is what I use on my real hair. Like, if I was to straighten it. But my real hair still frizzes, so I guess it doesn't work. But I'm going to use Garnier Fructis Triple Nutrition Marvelous Oil Hair Elixir with avocado, with avocado, olive, and almond oils. Dry to very dry hair. Three times moisture. Proven strength system. I just read everything on here. I may as well go ahead and do 5.0 fluid ounces. Parentheses 150 milli, mil, mil, milliliters. Close parentheses. But um, yeah. I'm gonna like speed past this part because I don't need to see all of that. I'm showing y'all my crusty, dusty braids because this is me. Um, but still i'm still cute or whatever oh, okay you know what let me tell y'all what's going on in my house because i'm just so through with my apartment people like i'm sick their stuff um so apparently i don't have heat it's the winter so not because i didn't pay my bill or anything but because my apartment they're obviously idiots i mean i don't really know how else to explain that and there's no nicer way to say it since when i call them they act like they have no idea what i'm talking about i said okay so someone come over here and fix my thermostat somebody come and fix it because y'all can't be expecting me to pay rent to people who want me to freeze in the winter so i decided to put it on because i feel like i'll be able to comb it easier Let's just put this baby on. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this was supposed to be a middle part, but it doesn't look right as a middle part. So hopefully when I straighten it, it does look right. The parting looks pretty okay, though. You know what I mean? Like, even though I hate this part, like, that's the only thing about synthetic wigs is, like, where it begins. It's like, I mean, it's a line. Like, nobody wants that line. But I'm going to see what I can do. I'm definitely going to try to do a middle part just because I do want to wear this wig as a middle part before it just goes to complete crapola. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to start by combing out one side. I was trying to comb it, but it was not working. If I had a wig brush, if you know what a wig brush is, comment down below. But I call it a wig brush because that's what I use the brush for you call it that so like like i'm saying like this curl pattern is so pretty like when it's combed out even though it looks ratty i wish it didn't get so tangly because it's such a nice wig and i only paid 25 dollars for it so i guess what do i expect of course it's tangly but if you need a little synthetica then you should just get this one because it's really nice also i have a, a blue synthetic wig and that one's really nice too like as far as uh longevity definitely worth it i mean this one is not good on longevity because you as you can see like i said i only wore it for a week i did do the do in it though and that was a bad idea S such a big mistake that's probably why it's so ratty 
but you know i didn't want to take out my wig or whatever when you first get this wig it's really it's super similar and i just mean by the looks of course because obviously not how it feels well actually when, it, when you first get it it does feel okay but when you first get the wig it's very similar to like virgin hair like just how it looks like you see how it looks it looks like it's good hair wrong it's a synthetica but yeah let me stop wasting time and get back to i feel like i'm just combing for no reason at this point because it's not combing out and it's making me sweat okay so i'm back again maybe what i should do is just like comb a piece straighten a piece comb a piece straight a piece because because when i keep trying to comb it like all together it's like matting back together this wig is through but we're gonna try to revamp it like i just don't even understand i don't want it to look like this and we're gonna take some of this little stuff take a little about a little dime piece i hate when people say that like on youtube videos they'll be like a oh, little dime piece dime size what is a dime size i mean i know it's like a dime but it doesn't it just doesn't seem right it doesn't seem like the right amount um for synthetic hair you can't keep the straightener on that high but to me i have it on 340 I don't know if that's gonna be too high, but we're about to. So what I'm gonna do is take the straightener and then also take the comb and pass at the same time. I'm not really good at this, so. But I, if I'm not mistaken, you do it after the straightener. So let's see. And you can't even get through this hole. Oh shit, I'm trying to comb. A disaster great did it even straighten I'm gonna turn this up so I turned it up to 400 and we're gonna pass it <laughs> don't pay attention to my double chin pay attention to the straightening hair okay see that one was better or oh, whatever like <laughs> virgin Synthetic aware. Synthetic aware, baby. No, seriously. That looks really good. So hopefully this was just all straight and really good. So um, I'm going to show just a little bit more of me straightening the hair. And then I'm going to cut it off. And then I'm going to come back with it straight. And then we're going to do the baby hairs or whatever. Do this little closure piece or whatever. See, this is actually straightening pretty good. Like, I cannot complain, honey. Like, look at this. I, I can't wait to see how it's going to look. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get off of here, and then I'm going to come back when I'm done. Okay, so she is straightened. <laughs> this is so cute like seriously can't complain especially for it being synthetic look at this like you wouldn't even be able to tell if i didn't like tell you like obviously you, yeah you could tell from like the this but like for real as far as the hair you wouldn't be able to tell like now nah, if you comb that to the end you would be able to tell but sometimes no sometimes really sometimes I be seeing some hair and it look like this. Even my hair sometimes look like this. But you can like cut this. Like you don't have to keep it that way. But I'm going to cut it. But later. Just not right now. Because I want it to be this length for a little bit. And this is to my boob. I'm not going to get up or anything. But 
This is from Curly to Straight. And now to make it look a little bit more realistic, I'm going to like fix this parting a little bit. But honestly, how do you guys think it looks? Don't look at that wig in the back because I haven't done anything to that wig. Um, that's another synthetic wig that I'm going to do something to. I'll probably put some curls in there. If you want to see that video, then, you know, stay tuned. Basically, turn your no turn your bell so you can be notified. Look at that luster. Honey, you would think it's virgin. You would think it's virgin. But it's not. It's synthetica. It was a curly wig. You saw from before. It's a curly wig, and I straightened it bone straight. Like, that's pretty good. And I only, I didn't even use any other products other than this and the straightener on 400. So, I mean, it's possible, you know what I'm saying? If you guys want to see more videos like this, like where I do, like, revamping on a wig, just let me know. Because I'm going to do, like, a little baby, a little bit, a little bit of baby hairs. Because right now, it doesn't look that bad. Like, I mean... Would I walk out like this? Yeah. I mean, I would walk. I Personally, I would walk out like this. I know other people probably wouldn't, but I don't even care that much. I mean, I know you can tell that I have on a wig, so I'm not really stressed about somebody saying, oh, it doesn't look realistic. Like, duh. Obviously, it doesn't look realistic. Whatever. But I'm going to do the baby hairs off camera, and then I'm going to come back on here and then do that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? All right. Okay, I lied. I actually said that I was going to do it off camera, but I'm going to do it on camera just because I think that you guys would want to see this process. I mean, if you're me, if you're like me on YouTube, then you would want to see this because that's that's how I'd be. I'd be wanting to see everything. Like, start to finish, tell me what to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, even though I didn't really tell y'all what to do. Sorry, I just burped right in the camera. That was real classy. Got my little edge brush like the little girls on YouTube. I mean, not on YouTube, but on Instagram. My little cousin has a, a Instagram specifically for showing how to do baby hairs. Now, if I don't, if that's not an entrepreneur, I don't know what is. Like, why? Why can't this just... Like, you see I have to, like, bend completely down so you guys can see that that's sick. But that's life. This little brush kind of hurt, nah. Okay, you guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. Like, comment, and subscribe like I already told you. Um, yeah, extravagant people. Thank you so much for watching my video.